This is the Wessel Nuffelin Gross Shank Deflection Gauge. It is the first consumer device to accurately measure the strength or deflection of a shank. Shank deflection is incredibly important to the tone and volume of a piano, and the same amount of force applied to strong and weak shanks will yield different results. When a weak shank is played, energy is lost through bending and flexing, and there is a chance that the hammer will not hit the strike point on the piano strings. Notes with strong shanks that flex less will transmit more energy to the strings and are more likely to accurately hit the strike point, which produces louder volume and longer sustain. Since wood strength can vary greatly, even from shanks in the same set, and opinions on why to put stronger shanks in the treble or bass sections can vary even greater, it is important to be able to accurately determine which shanks are strong and which ones are weak. So far, the most common way to do this was to strike a shank against a solid surface and listen to the tone it produces. While fast, this technique is highly subjective and does not give you a way to compare two shanks with solid numbers. The WNG shank deflection gauge will allow you to quickly and accurately find the strength of a shank through precise, reliable, and quantitative method. The WNG shank deflection gauge works by applying a four pound weight to the end of the shank and measuring the distance it travels with a dial indicator. Since we measure shank strength on how much a shank bends, a stronger shank will have a smaller reading while a weaker shank will have a higher one. First, find a shank. Anyone will do, and we've designed the gauge to even work with shanks that have most types of hammers still attached. Second, make sure the weight is in its resting position and tilted up, and insert the shank into the gauge between the floating pin and the dial indicator. Next, use one hand to make sure that the knuckle fits snugly towards the left side of the knuckle cutout. Use your other hand to tighten the thumb screw on the top of the gauge and stop just as the shank makes contact with the floor of the shank slot. Adjust the dial indicator so that the current reading is at zero. Next, slowly tighten the thumb screw so that the dial indicator is at the 5000th mark. This will preload the shank and ensure an accurate reading. Be sure to add 5000th to the value that you get when you finish measuring your shank to compensate for the negative 5 that you just added. Move the weight down so that it gently makes contact with the top of the floating pin. Lightly tap the weight a few times until the dial goes back to the same position every time. This will give you a more accurate reading. To remove the shank from the gauge, bring the weight back to its resting position, loosen the thumb screw, and then remove the shank.